Now this young man simply turned this into milk. This is the winner of the competition in Samoa called the squeezing competition. Very private and nobody knows about it. <laughs> but this is the winner. <laughs> Watch this guy. This guy does it with style. Check him out. This one. See that? He does it sideways, a little exaggeration there. <laughs> You know, it's all in the force. He does it overhead and it's all over the place. <laughs> Give it up the little man. Give it up. <laughs> you having a good time? Yeah. We're going to make some fire. Fire comes from rubbing sticks together. So what we do, we've got our oil. You see what we're going to compete making fire. So what we have here, one, two, a wabra, a wabra, a wabra, Four, four. So four families. One family here. You have the Fai family. Say Fai! Fai! Fai. Popo! Popo! Oh. Ulu! Ulu! Essie! Alright. Fai! Fai! Popo! Oh. Ulu! Essie! Let me see. Yeah. We're going to compete. All the men will compete. Are you ready? Fai! Popo! Fai! 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 Competition. <laughs> Neighbors are eating. That means a young man lives there and made food and serving. You have to insert it here, a young man fail. Oh, wow. And your parents will make sure that you know that you fail. And make sure you understand that today. That you fail. <laughs> it won't happen tomorrow. These are more Afi. Afi. In Spanish. Well, in Brazil. In French. <laughs> yeah, Korea, Burr. Chinese, oh. Taiwan, Hong Kong, oh. Vietnam. <laughs> in Japan, he, everybody say he. he. In Japan, fries, you don't know what she is. <laughs> you hear that? They're looking for us. This is the last episode of Lost. <laughs> <laughs> this smells really good. This is uh, more cologne, kind of like uh, Old Spice. <laughs> it is way older and spicy. <laughs> he doesn't smell like this. He doesn't cook in the middle of the Don't go for looks, go for smell. <laughs> he has both. Good for you. <laughs> and he has not run. <laughs> so I have a knife here and a fire. We're going to put it together. In your home, you teach your children, don't touch the knife again. Don't go by that fire. In our home, guess what? We put it together and give it to the child. <laughs> And watch them suffer. <laughs> and these young men will suffer for you. Does he have a choice? No. Because I'm always going to be called blind obedience. You just do what he has to do. No questions. You ready? It's a knife with a hook. With mature that holds the gasoline. And these young men will suffer for you. Give you a child a knife first and then the fire, so you'll have to do the child. <laughs>